Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to the Stronghold, a level that decided, hey, let's just start off with a bang. Um, no, hello. I, for some reason, was not expecting that to actually do anything. For some reason, I was thinking that was just the door the level started with. Ooh, health. I can use that. All right. See, this is probably one of the more interesting ideas that um, several levels of this uh, expansion of Final Doom have had. Uh, the idea that, like, you'd press a button on one side of an, a room and that would open uh, doors on the other. And then you would just kind of, like, start switching. But everything is kind of in eye line with each other. You're not just forced to start wandering around to see what changed. You can actually see what changed from where... Huh. Interesting. Why can they not see me? Also, I guess I'll pick up this health kit because I've taken enough damage. And what is... Oh. Where did you come from, sir? Hmm. All right. Interesting. Yeah, let's pick up these health items. I'm not going to be back through. Actually, I probably will be back through here to open up that door. But that's okay. It's too late. There's no going back now. Oh, hello. Okay, this just kind of opened up to nothing. <laughs> I figure it's best to be safe than sorry when it comes to all of these explosive barrels. That are littered all over the place. Oh, there's the red key. Thank you. Like, uh, the bad guys have gotten, have killed several of their own just in this small area, which is very convenient. And they've also knocked my health down back to more uncomfortable places, especially since I do not see a health kit anywhere.
All right, let's try to somehow stay alive. All right, there's where the red key goes. See, I went with the double barrel simply because I figured whatever I encounter, I will probably be able to... Yeah, that's, that's just a clear wall. <clears throat> Ah, it's like there's a fake floor going on. That's, that's a neat trick. Ah, hello. I cannot see you through the dead body on the floor. Huh. Is there... How do you... How do you get up there? That's... That's, uh, interesting. How do I get up to any of these spots? Is my question. Oh, this opened up. When did that open up? Oh, hello. All right, here's hoping this makes a staircase to this uh, health. It does. Wow. Easy come, easy go. All right, what do I get out of... Oh, hold on. Another switch. What did that open up? Oh, did that uh, open up uh, the area around this platform? I think it did. And now I can go up here. Can I? Hmm. That does not seem to lower. Okay, that's fine. That health kit will evade me. Yeah. But this one will not. Yeah. How did I get to there? Yeah. That was through here, and now I can access this button. Ah, and now I can get at that health kit, which I def definitely need. All right, now that we are somehow barely alive. Let us go flip this red switch, which probably opens up something somewhere with someone. Maybe... Yep. I need a blue key to activate that. Okay. <laughs> A 
luckily I was able to actually get the drop on these fellows. Ah, a stim pack. Anybody else? I mean, it sounds like there's somebody else. Um. All right, I can go up. Yes, finally, peace. But I have no armor. Oh. I'm gonna have to find some armor somewhere. Oh, but there is a blue key. So at the very least, I've temporarily fixed my health problem. Though my health problem is not going to be particularly fixed if um, I don't get armor. Okay, at the very least, I did not take any hits from any of them. Wow. A little bit of a crowd. Did any of these areas have <laughs> health kits in them? Answer seems to be no. Ah. Oh. But there's the blue key. Was there anything else for me to pick up on this side? I mean, there was a staircase, yes. Oh. Nifty. Unnecessary, but nifty. All right, why is there a blue door and then a separate blue switch? Okay, oh, hello. Well, you can't fault for uh, Final Doom for not being action packed. Ooh. I have 1% armor, wow. Of these barrels because I do not want these barrels to kind of get in the way. All right, three percent armor. Wow. What did that do? 
that do anything. It is unclear. Oh, hold on, it looks like there's a platform there, but that's probably just to get out of the swamp. Huh, okay. Let's check out what's behind the blue door, I suppose. This game likes its dark rooms. And rooms just filled to the brim with bad guys. Oh, hello. Speaking of bad guys. I mean, I can't really see them over the growing pile of enemy corpses at the top of the stairs. Okay, where are people teleporting to? I do not like that they're repeatedly teleporting to different places on the map, of which I'm not aware of. Are they teleporting back here? Somewhere? The answer seems to be no. done enough damage to ourselves and to the enemy there. Perhaps we can redeem ourselves in this level titled Redemption. Um, let's go with Chain Gun. Oh, hello. And there's one more in. There we go. Nope. Still alive. Okay, we've got two more health kits. Med kits waiting outside for us. If we so choose. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try that again now that we know that there's a monster closet right there. Oh, did, uh, yep. Yep, they're getting, uh, his attention, which is good. Like, any time the enemies can do my work for me, I appreciate it. Uh, what does... 
Did that open that over there? I guess I'll just pick up that med kit. Oh, armor! Finally! A decent amount. Thank you kindly for... Oh, no. Gosh. Well. The game does not give without immediately taking away. Wow. Or the, although I suppose at the very least... I am in a relatively safe space. Okay, let's not try to do to dodge uh, that much. Poof. Um, yeah, shotgun, shotgun. And then we've got a red key is required to go in that direction. Hello! Luckily those guys do take a little while to actually successfully fight you. Anybody else? I think I saw another specter down there. Excellent. Huh. Oh, I see you. I, I see both of you. you. You stand out. You're not hiding very well. Yeah, neither of you are hiding particularly well. Especially you, sir. And is there another one on the left for symmetry's sake? Because you gotta have symmetry. Hello. Yeah, let's get rid of him before he starts spawning in more lost souls. Ah. Um. Was there another one? Okay, so that opened up part of the path to the key. And there's probably... Yep, another Cacodemon. And that'll open the rest of the path to the key. I was not informed of teleportation. Oh, hello. Yep, I'll, you can come up the stairs if you want. Join me in this extremely long hallway. And then die. Stuck in the staircase for some reason. 
Are you just not able to climb up this staircase? He just was unable to climb that staircase. Who am I to judge? Oh, nope. Once again. Like, Final Doom so far has proved itself as a game that really likes having tons of bad guys appear. Oh, oh that's an imp. Alright. Shall we get rid of at least one Mancubus? There we go. Oh, I probably did not need that, that's fine. Because there are still more medkits that I did not pick up earlier on in the level. And surely when I pick up this red key, there will be no traps, but just in case... There were no traps. Okay. That is the complete opposite of what this game has prepared me to do. Um, hmm. Um, I think there was a switch for the red gates. And or a door. Oh, hello. Which might actually, instead of lowering those red gates, it might do something else, but let us find out. Because in order to do this, we must backtrack. Yeah. Wait, I've got hallway space now. So there's the exit, but... I can actually... kill those last demons before carrying on. I have, in fact, redeemed myself. I mean, I haven't found any secrets, but now I'm back to full health, full armor, almost full armor, which is still pretty good. Well, almost double armor, which is still pretty good. This is interesting. Not entirely sure what to make of it. Music is interesting. There we go. Why, hello! I don't actually need this armor. Imagine that, but it's good to know that it's there. I mean, just to check to see those are secret doors, but they're not. Thank you, phone, for your notification. I don't need it. Armor bonus, some health bonus. Huh. 
What is that noise? Is that a... I forget what that sound is. Is that a revenant? Ah, yep. Excellent. This is a nice uh, change of pace, uh, especially in comparison to the last, to a lot of the levels in this uh, game. I keep wanting to call it expansion because it, like, it does feel like an expansion, but technically, so yeah, it does feel like a nice contrast. Getting more open ground to explore as opposed to narrow corridors. Am I doing any damage from this distance? that sound. Let's send a rocket down this way. There we go. Much better. Much safer. Okay, but now that we have explored the open area, let us go back into the narrow and cramped corridors. Which almost kind of make me feel like I'm playing like a spaghetti western. You're like kind of like walking into town. Somebody appears like way up above you on the on the roof and you pull out and draw just before they have a chance. Like a little bit of spaghetti. Oh. Where did you come from? Hmm. And then there's another key, all right. This is just a mess of boxes. That's uh, what you call a group of boxes. It's a flock of birds, a mess of boxes. Oh, hello. I'm surprised that double barreled shot didn't kill that guy. Where are all of you teleporting from? And where am I being shot from? All right, at the very least, clean that out. Except now, I need to somehow figure out how to get back. Uh, to where I was before. Although I suppose there's a blue door here too, so. So yeah, narrow corridors, lots of monsters, no lights. Uh, 
Although being able to just kind of like look at the cursor to aim is a very nice feature that was not present uh, in the original game. Okay, who is in shoot? A lot of people are shooting at me, and I wish I could see any of them. Just one of them. Or if there were some night, some uh, some goggles for me to look at stuff with, that would also be nice. Damn it. That was a little bit farther than I expected. I put... Oh, finally. Jeez. I can at the very least now temporarily see what's in front of me. Like, I couldn't even see that that guy was in the room. Alright. So now I know I can... Let's save because we're running out of time. With our goggles. Ah. You hear the grinding of heavy machinery ahead. You sure hope they're not stamping out new hellspawn, but you're ready to ream out a whole herd if you have to. They might be planning a blood feast, but you feel about as mean as 2,000 maniacs packed into one mad killer. You don't plan to go down easy. Well, I wasn't even planning to go down hard, either. For now, though, got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.